With Cam a chance to go home this weekend, uh, kind of what are your thoughts? Um, just feels good to be back home with it being an opener game. But just have to uh, pull and show for the family and just uh, bliss and just to, uh, play football in your hometown. You've been wrapping up tickets all week? Oh, yes, sir, no doubt. Um, my whole family been blowing me up, asking me, hey, can I get a ticket? Can I get a ticket? I'm like, well, can't get a ticket to everybody, but I'll try. So the whole family's just trying to come because it's close to home. Mm -hmm. Do you have any friends or former teammates on that team? Oh, uh, no, sir, not at all. Um, I, ha um, I know a couple guys that play for them, but I don't have no teammates or no guys I played against. But uh, it's some familiar faces I've seen on that team. What do you remember about playing them last year? Um, they try to get the ball out quick. They play fast. Um, they're the type of team that try to you know, get their best players going. So we just got to be um, looking for that, the opening um, kickoff. So, you know, they just a, a, I feel like they're a screen team. Like, they, you know, like I said, get the ball out quick, try to put the ball in their playmaker's hands. So we just got to be great tackles and, you know, pursuit to the ball like we always do. Great tackling kind of plays your strengths because you, you take a lot of pride in your tackling. Oh, yes, sir, because most corners, you know, they don't want to come up and tackle. So I'm just trying to stand out be different mm -hmm. and just show people that I can come up and tackle, not just code, but um, also tackle. You guys obviously have the rest of the season, but how nice is it to open the season at home and how open your last last year at home? Um, it's just a blessing just to, you know, be able to play in New Orleans. You know, uh, it's all, but it's been better, you know, to play your first game at home. Yeah. But yeah. things happen, just got to go out and play um, Mississippi State football. You played at the Superdome before? Oh, no, sir. I, I was always a game short, Every, like two years straight, a game short. <laughs> it hurt my feelings. So. so you finally got there now. I finally got there. <laughs> When's the last <laughs> time you were in the Dome to watch a game? Um, probably like my freshman year of high school. My dad took me and my brothers to the mm. game. That was like one of my first experiences I've ever been in the Dome. So. Mm. Did you grow up, Saint, grow up a Saints fan? Oh, yes, sir, I did. Um, uh, my dad, he knows he's a, um, a big Saints fan, you know, black and gold. So it's just everybody in the house, you know, grew up Saints fan. So. It's just, you know, that was my team growing up. Back to their offensive scheme, they did a lot last year to kind of negate the pass rush and kind of put you guys on an island out there. I mean, is that pretty much the same game plan this year you expect from them? Um, yes, sir, because, you know, we're going, we're going to attack. So I feel like they're going to try to get the ball out quick, like like I said, and try to, you know, put the ball in their playmaker's hands. And, um, I t well, to be honest, I really expect them to, you know, take a shot deep and try to, like, you know, set the tone early. So. That's not the second day. We just got to be alert for deep balls, you know, make plays on balls. We talked to you and Mo back in, in spring about how y'all expect to be one of the strengths of this defense because, in, in some sense, the front line's being rebuilt and maybe it touches pressure. But have you seen that Coach Shoot's not going to relax? The names are changed, but the strategy's the same, just attack up front? Um, like I said, we have a style of play fast, physical, and aggressive. No, that doesn't change. It doesn't matter who in front, like, you know, who the 11 that's on the field. Our plan style doesn't change at all. So we just had that plan style, and then we're going to stick to it. You got more snaps than anybody in the secondary, but a lot of guys have talked to us about Brian Cole, both offensively and defensively. What are your impressions of Brian Cole? Um, my impressions to Brian Cole is, like, he's one of the most athletic guys on the team. You know, he's one of our captains. He's a good leader. You know, he leads by example. And he just, you know, he's, he communicates with all of us. You know, he's like the strength of our, the secondary to me. I wouldn't say I'm the screen. I say he the screen because he got to know what to do, when to blitz, when not to blitz. So I just feel like you know Brian Cole. He's improved a lot from last year and made a big step this year. You know, colleges have gotten away from walkthroughs in recent years, but Coach Warren's taking y'all down earlier on Friday and give you a chance to walk around the dome. You think it's advantage, to, especially because it's a professional surface, a guy like yourself is going to be running backwards, forward, side to side. Oh yes, that's like a. Yeah, I think it's an advantage you know, for us to go down there. You know, just be able to, you know, touch the turf in the Superdome mm -hmm. from the, get, um, the day before the game. So I think that's a good idea for Coach Moorhead to do that for us. Obviously, there's a long time between games, but how, how ready are you guys to, like, actually play someone other than your own offense? Oh, we're very excited. You know, a lot of guys talked about last year, but, you know, we're trying to set a new standard for this year, showing that we could be better than last year. So I feel like the whole team is going into this game with a big chip on our shoulder. So we just got to go out and prove that we was gonna, we're going to make some noise this year. So. I feel like the whole team is very excited about the first game. Ready to hit someone other than you? Other than our team, yes, sir. We're tired of beating up on each other, so we're just ready to beat up on somebody else now. <laughs>